Let's look at advanced automation using the pencil tool. If you haven't seen the tutorials on basic automation and editing automation, please watch those before this tutorial. But let's show some uh, advanced automation over here. I'm going to hide my lanes here so they look like one track. Let's do some automation on here. Let's shut off our loop. Let's do some automation on this track right here. Uh, remember when you click right automation and you hit play, I have to hit it on the right track. I highlight this track, I hit right automation. Once the once Cubase is playing, any moves I make to volumes or pans or effects or anything will be automated when the right automation uh, button is on. So let's make a couple of quick moves here on the volume in the pan. And let's turn on the automation read. And you should see the moves that I made over here. Okay, so when I have the right button on, any moves that I make will be remembered. When I have the read automation green button on, any moves that I make will be recalled and made. Now you can go into editing automation. We saw this on the editing. You can right click on the channel and you can click show used automation and it'll show everything that I made moves on. That's a lot of stuff to show. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to go hide automation. Hide automation and now we can show automation one at a time. So I can click on this plus button at the bottom of the channel We'll select volume. I notice volume isn't showing up on this list. So if any of your settings you want to automate are not showing up on this list, you click on the more button. And this, in here, any effects that you have on the channel, see I have some EQs on here. This shows me everything that I can automate on the EQ. I have a reverb on this channel that's highlighted. It'll show me all the things I can automate on the reverb, uh, my panner. Right now I want to do volume automation, so I click on that. So I click on that and now I see my volume. When I click on this button, read automation, this is the move that I made manually a few minutes ago. We can go in here and we can edit our automation. This is volume by using our pencil tool. Um, and one of the coolest ones that I like is this tool over here, which lets you draw several different um, several different shapes. It's like a pencil tool with several different shapes. Um, we're going to look at uh, Snap to Grid inside of another um, tutorial, but let's activate the Snap to Grid. If you don't understand this, watch the tutorial on Snap to Grid. I'm going to use this to the beat. So this is turning on my Snap to Grid and this is setting my grid to the beat. Now when I grab this tool, I can grab a sine wave tool and that'll make a volume change. This would be like a volume pedal, like on, off, on, off, on, off. So, and it's doing it right on the beat because I had my snap to grid set for the beat. So watch this. See, my, my volume is turning up and on and off.